Are you guys ready? Four, three, two. This is just a journey for me. I'm so excited that I got this. I'm super happy I've been wearing this for a long, long time. My doctor was never ever that since. But I'm not sorry that she did it. I just hope you know, I heal perfectly fine and everything goes well. Good morning, guys. It's day two. It's currently like 7 o'clock in the morning. The trick is orange juice. <laughs> Bruh. No, my bad. I'm sorry. Oh, it's day three. I leave. As you can see, I'm like, I just want to start to be up. My neck is swollen and pulled. The face is swollen and pulled. I just been taking medication and eating and sleeping. That's literally it. <laughs> I'm not sure what it is, but I got this on just so that, you know, I can go outside looking somewhat normal. And me and Jock's about to go for a walk. I'm not caregiver. <laughs> oh, child. Yeah, it is so beautiful. It's the culture appropriation for me. <laughs> it's not culture appropriation because black people, black people do this too. But you're Muslim? No, I'm not Muslim. Shut the f***. Yeah, caregiver. Honey. Oh, okay, kids on. So it's bad now. We just gonna chill here for like a little bit, and then if anything, go get some food, cause I'm starving and I'm tired of eating too. Girl, I need to eat some food, Miss Mama. It's like. <laughs> Hey guys, so we're currently at the restaurant now. We went to the park. He did us, you know, walking, and now we're currently at the restaurant. Yeah, so don't just have house. I had food here from before some salmon and some mashed potatoes. It was awesome. We normally go to Barcelona, which is like over there. Well, over there. No, but the camera is gonna, yeah. It does the other way around, yeah. So, yeah. You got anything to say to the people? <laughs> See, and then when I saw people, you, you was um, hitting me. You, you gotta need to help me. I need help. I need help. <laughs> I love her. Oh, I'm done. Y'all, yeah, I forgot to show y'all, but I got some play up trying to suit it. I tore this baby up. And it's just so good. Like, so amazing. This food up. This was an appetizer. It was the bruschetta with a uh, tomato jam. Absolutely decadent. Alright, we got our food. I got salmon and a double batch of potatoes because y'all don't have to. I got the Palo Verde salmon uh, with mashed potatoes as well. That looks good. Good morning, guys. Um, currently, right now, I'm on my way to my post up appointment. I'm with the Batty Buddha. She's driving me. I am the designated driver for today, <laughs> and she has to listen to everything I say. Oh, but yeah, so I'm going to watch some point and hopefully they will move the staples on my head and I know for sure like they most likely going to move the cat. Hopefully I'm able to record in there. Um, this one went down. I still like Frankenstein's wife, but... Alright guys, so I'm done, but I couldn't record. She said that I couldn't record, so I didn't. Basically, they removed the cast. They removed the cast and everything, but I still had the staples in my head and I had to wait until next week to get that removed. Are you guys ready? Four, three, two, one. <laughs> oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. As you can see from the previous 
videos and by the title, I ended up getting facial feminization surgery. I've been wanting this surgery for years on years on years and I finally got it. I look so good. The only thing I could say is that I wanted more of a natural facial fem, which basically like you can't tell I got surgery unless you knew me or you seen like old pictures of me and stuff like that. So if you look like my previous videos or even the clips before this, you could see a huge difference. You know what I'm saying? As I stated, I wanted something natural. I'm only two months post-op. I technically wanted to show my face after my birthday. I have went to New Orleans for my best friend Imani. Shout out to Imani. I have went to New Orleans for her birthday to celebrate with her and I ended up posting pictures on Instagram. So I still have a lot of healing to do. I'm still very swollen like on the tip of my nose and my chin and my jaw. That's, they said that it only takes about a year for everything to heal down for me to see the final results. I'm in love with it. I look super more feminine. I don't get looked at weird or anything like that anymore. You no, know, people don't double take. You know, they don't do this. It's been nothing but good results so far and I'm happy with the results that I have so far. So what I have gotten done was I got uh, my brow bone shaved. I know you can see it, but I got my brow bone shaved here. I got a mini brow lift. I got a rhinoplasty, a closed rhinoplasty. So the difference between a closed and open is the closed one, they don't really like open your nose and go in, they don't cut here. It's more so, they just broke this bone here to make it like more, give it like that slope kinda. And then she um kinda like tipped in my nostrils. She took cartilage from my ribs, I believe. And she inserted like inside here to give it more of that push up. I don't know if you could tell from this right now but I have like a that slope or whatever um I also got my chin and my jaw done so she shaved down my chin they went inside my mouth like right here it still feel like swollen and I like I have sensation and whatnot however I still feel like kind of tingles here and there so I guess like you know like I said it's healing um I got my chin and my jaw done so she shaved here so I don't have like that masculine jawline no more and then as well she shaved down my chin just a little bit to give it more of like that circular rounder shape that i wanted so yes you guys i went to dr bella evanescence which is in mount sinai in new york if you live in new york i do recommend going to her if you want kind of like the results that i have which is like more of that natural nothing super crazy facial feminization i definitely recommend her she's really good she's super super friendly she made me feel super comfortable um as you can see by the clips previously i couldn't too much because when i had asked they said i couldn't record so i couldn't really record anything that they were doing and especially i couldn't have somebody come in with me and kind of like sneak record only because you know it was during the pandemic ah! oh my god oh my god oh my god so <laughs> I'm just like super excited for you guys to see this. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy, I'm so happy, I'm so happy. Um, the way that you could go about it, cause I did get it through Medicaid, so I got a free show feminization surgery. I didn't have to pay for nothing, okay? Cause girl, that is expensive. I mean, if I want a second one, I probably pay for that one, you know? But girl, it's expensive. Like, a facial feminization surgery is expensive. And ain't nobody had time to be paying for that. Okay? Okay. The way I went about it was, like I said previously, my physician is at Colin Lord, which helps with like transgender people. Well, it's like an LGBTQ clinic, basically. Um, it's on 18th Street in Manhattan. Like I said, I always recommend y'all to go to them. And they also have one in Brooklyn and the Bronx. So if you can't get to the one in Manhattan, I recommend going to the one in Brooklyn or the Bronx either or it took like basically like two years for me to get this surgery which girl i know it seems like a lot but time really flew by especially during the pandemic i was just like chilling about with my family and stuff so time really really flew by the only downside of getting medicaid um facial feminization surgery is like i said the wait time is two years then i had to get like three to four letters stating that you know I identify with this, with like the gender that I am, and I needed to see like a psychiatrist and a therapist to get a letter from them, as well as get a letter from my provider as well, just to get the surgery. And it has to go through your insurance. So basically, you know, the insurance could pay 
the, the um, surgery. With that being said, I definitely do recommend, you know, trying out and going to them and seeing what they can do for you. It does, like I said, it does, it do does take a very long time, but it's totally worth it if you, it's totally worth it if you don't want to come out of pocket. That's my best friend Jock and Melissa for taking care of me when, you know, I went through this process. I'm so happy with the results. Like I said, I'm still not fully healed yet. So within time, you're still gonna see my face changing here and there. Especially if you go on my Instagram, you're definitely gonna see that I was more swollen because it was only after a month. Like literally, I made a month while I was in New Orleans, basically. Um. So yeah, I definitely recommend checking them out. I'm so ha super happy with the results so far. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna want a second facial femme yet, but I might get one just because, you know, that chin and that jaw, gotta go. Um, it's nice and stuff, but I still kind of want it more tapered up a little bit. Like, I really want that circular face. I don't know what it is, but I love it. So yeah, you guys, that's, that's basically it. <laughs> Thank you for watching this video. Make sure you hit the subscribe button, turn your post notifications on, give this video a big thumbs up, share it, follow me on my social media. It's gonna be down in the description down below. This fly is pissing me off. I don't know if y'all see it, but it's pissing me off. Um, so yeah, you guys, thank you. I appreciate you, love you.